Now that I know how to look for these things, yep, there's the village, and I'm sure this is probably, yep, the Phantom Long Canoe, so we need to go check that out. Might need to just get the Silicon Finger first. Let's see. I don't think it really matters which is done in what order. village over here. Oh, wow. Did you see that? That was cool. Okay. Let's crash into the dock here. Okay. So I think we need to go up here. Oh, we got another thing we can turn. All right, I guess we got that. Bloody flies. That was easier than I thought it would be. I don't know what's making that noise, but it's freaky, and it's leaving like a red mist. That is seriously creepy. Is there more than one? Alright, we need to check on our map here. Where the marker is, I think it's over this way. Nope, I think I might have, well, hold on. Is this boat going to fit? Just barely. There's the boat. So once we find that, that, that sh I think we got those fish things that keep jumping out here too, because look how red it is. There's the boat. All right. Peruvian Mystery Phantom Long Canoe. Well done, vampires beware. 13,000 cash. Silicon finger lures. Proclaim that. Peruvian Mystery Vampire Biara. Ooh, boy. This ought to be interesting. After catching all the sharp toothed fish in the lake, you determined that the only Biaras are affected by the curse. You received a bait 
for the vampire Biara. During this time, the locals are afraid to go out on the water in their boats. Help prevent the return of the vampires by catching all the monsters. In the dark, in the evening fogs, and in the moonlight. When the fish go hunting, no one knows what dangers await. So we get a uh, three bay coins and a vampire BR mount. It's a red fish, huh? Okay, so I think we can back this up here. So it looks like we've got some of them out here. There's the boat, the canoe or whatever. Ghostly canoe. Let's see. Let's go ahead and drop anchor. Let me see if there's places marked on the map or if we just have to find them. Looks like we just have to find them. And it looks like the red... Oh, gosh. Something big's out there. Yeah, I think we found them. <laughs> Pretty sure we found them. All right, let me see here. Got to get three of them? Really? All right. No idea how big these fellows are, so we're going to need to use... We've got the silver thorn stake. That's our heaviest rod. The skull f fish skull cast. I'm going to go with the heavier rod. <laughs> Let's see here. May also be determined by our. Let's see the. F Where's the bait that I was supposed to use? Okay. So far, I'm not seeing it. Wait a minute. No. Ah one of these. So I need to use a four out hook, jig head or whatever. That'll work. Silicon finger. And that should do it. We got 15 of those, so. These guys are right here. I just saw one. Not sure what speed or we're going to try to stop and go to start off with. Oh wow, that is cool looking. So you can do this for sure. You don't have to be on a boat. Oh, he was close. There we go. We got our first one, guys. Holy crackies, he's big. He is a big fella. Something tells me they'll be able to get off these real easy, too. So we're going to need to really watch ourselves here. It's going to be a fight, even with this heavy-duty rod. Man! These guys are every bit as tough as those eels. Oh, there's another one.
Well guys, I'm gonna probably be at this for a while, so I'm probably gonna end up having to bring it back once it gets a little bit closer. Several moments later. Alright guys, I'm finally getting some headway with this, guys. They are tougher than the eels were, by far. These are seriously tough fish, and they are strong. I don't know if they're bigger, I think they are definitely stronger. Maybe they're more supernatural or something, who knows. But I have been fighting this guy for over 10 minutes easy. I don't know if I'm going to get him. That's just the first one. Oh, they're big. Holy crap, they're big. Much bigger than the eels. 114.640 pounds. Lord, and look at the XP, guys. I might actually level out again. Vampire Biara. Now, I'm going to get pictures of each of these because I don't know which one's going to end up being the biggest or the most XP. But I definitely want... Wow, that is an incredible looking fish. I thought the other one was pretty darn cool looking, but that is pretty bad. <laughs> I guess the best term is badass. That is a neat looking fish. Ooh. Vicious looking. I like it. 61.8 inches, 114.640 pounds. Glow in the dark. That is a mean looking fish. He's a heck of a fight. Like I said, he makes the eels actually look easy. So no wonder they only knocked it down to three, but three's more than gonna be enough to keep me busy. But we pretty much can just stay right here. We don't have to keep moving or anything, so that's good. I can tell you that they have to get, they definitely have to get tired. They definitely have to get tired. And the only way let them, to do that is just to let them take it. Just keep tension on them. And keep reeling them. And I was moving around there at the end, but I was finally getting him tired. But it took me a while to get him to that point. Whew. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and mark that too while I'm at it. That's where I cast last time, and that's where I got the last one. So the stop and go worked. Just gotta be patient. He's actually pretty close to shore when he, he latched on. There we go. That seemed to help. Yeah, I'm gonna be at this for a minute, guys. We still got more of them jumping around, but best thing to do is just to take it up in the air. Keep tension on him. He's gonna run with it. He's gonna run with it quite a ways. The last one took it out over 200 feet at one point and just kept playing with me like that. Wouldn't let it drop below a certain amount for a long time. And then as soon as I'd start getting it down, he'd take it right back out to almost 200 feet again. So you're gonna be doing this for a while. Well, anyway guys, I will bring you back because this, like I said, gotta have patience. Several boring minutes later, Alright guys, it's been about another 10 minutes. This one does seem to be... It was a little bit easier to get in than the last one, but not much. I don't think he's quite as heavy. Because he did take it out over 200 feet. He just got it about to 160. He is going to... 
Make me fight that one last time here. And we got him. Yeah, I see he's 95. So he wasn't nearly as big as that last one. Still gave me 20,243 XP. Like I said, I very well could level up with all of this. This XP is really good. I'm not taking a picture of this one, but you can definitely tell this one's a little bit smaller. Still, decent fish. Cash is kind of so-so for what we're getting. It's the XP that's really good. The XP is phenomenal. And I really need the XP. That seemed to do better with the higher speed and keeping it right in the middle of the water table. So that's what I keep doing this time. We'll try it. It may not be what it is. It may just have been pure luck or doing something a little differently, but... I don't know. These are vicious predators. They might like something that runs from them fast. Much, much, much later. There it is. Holy crikeys. That took a long time to get a bite for some reason. I was just doing a number two stop and go. I tried numbers of different types of stop and goes, but wasn't getting anything. Not for a really long time. But yeah, we're going to be back to fighting this one for a while. Once we get that, we are on to the next fish. Next boat. We'll see if this one's bigger than the last two, or if he's going to be smaller, or somewhere in the middle. He seems to be coming in a little easier than the other ones did. Which is kind of strange. Because that could change at a moment's notice. I mean, really. See, there it goes, there it goes. That's what they do before. They just take off. Alright guys, I will bring you back once we get closer to getting this fella in. Five minutes later. Alright guys, we are getting there. This last one. I don't know if we'll make it or if he'll pull out ahead again, but he's been a heck of a fighter. At least as tough as the first one was. Chris is getting tired from all this. Oh my god, it's just like a couple of feet away. I think we may have him. We may have him. Yes. There he is, guys. He was close to the other one. The other one was 115. 111.885. 24.423. I'm not sure, but he might have had more XP. 60.8 inches. But he's not the biggest. We can take a look at him, but we don't need a picture of him necessarily, but... Yeah, he's definitely bigger than the last one was, but about the same size, about three, four pounds. Whew, that was a heck of a fight, guys. That was a heck of a fight. Well, let's keep him. 
And the mission is accomplished. Peruvian Mystery Vampire Biara. Incredible, you've caught scary monsters. You are the hero of All Saints Day. So we got a Vampire Biara mount and three bait coins. And now on to the next one. The Bolivian Mystery, the Phantom Flute. On the Marin River, you heard the legend of the Dutch Flute, a sea vessel from the Netherlands. After the flute arrived, the locals began facing problems. In recent years, unable to eliminate all the vampire fish, local fishermen have turned the problem into a profitable business, a unique challenge to offer, offer to tourists. Complete the fisherman's task and you'll receive a lure for the vampire fish. If you don't succeed on the first try, the skull will reissue the mission. Oh boy. Huh. Well, that sounds interesting. So at this point, we gotta travel to the Maroon River. And, yep, we are going up in levels here, guys. One quarter of the way up. We keep doing this, and we're going to get to level 72. At least I will be. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I suspect it's going to be two episodes. I've been trying to break up the part where you have to get the lure or whatever it is and then catching the monster or monsters. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.